Hey everyone, this is Matt with ConvertKit. Hope you're doing well today. Just wanted to make this quick video for you and tell you about something that I see happen a lot with new ConvertKit customers and it's understanding the difference between forms, segments, tags, and especially eliminating redundancy where you don't need to have that. So for example, one of the biggest ones that I see is say you import people from another provider. So you have a tag of people that have been imported. Okay, so we have our imported tag. This is normally who you've been sending your newsletter to, right? So you're bringing that over. So imported newsletter tag. And then we set up our different forms. It could be on like the sidebar, could be after post. So we've got our two forms here. And what I see happen a lot with ConvertKit is that we're so used to sending to say and a specific tag or a specific list that uh, you start using this initial tag as your new list and you don't need to do that. Let me show you what you can do instead. And because people try and do this, this is what we see a lot. We see people set up like, okay, we set up an automation rule of a subscription to a form going to this tag. Oops. So subscribes to a form, add a tag, and then you keep like adding some new rules. Like every single time there's a form, you have to create a new subscription rule. And you don't have to do that in ConvertKit. So let me show you what you can do instead, okay? It's pretty straightforward, but since it is a little different, I just want to point this out to you. So again, let me just uh, emphasize. Don't do this. It's redundant and it's unnecessary. And let me show you why. Because in ConvertKit, I can send a broadcast email directly to subscribers of a form. Now, maybe this isn't a huge deal for like your sub for your newsletter subscription, but say you're doing a workshop like we do every single week with ConvertKit. If I was to say, okay, this is my workshop landing page, we're the same for those, and then if I said for every single one of these I had to add this new tag, tag workshop, you can see how overwhelming and redundant this is gonna be in just a sec. We don't wanna do that. Okay, I can email these people directly, all right? So I, if, my, if my end goal is to just email them, then I don't have to create a tag for this. I can email people directly through the form. So when you go to a broadcast and you can select uh, subscribes to that form, and that's all I have to send to. Now, what does this mean for your newsletter? Okay, so what this means is that you're going to create a segment. And you can think of, I like to think of segments also as like, uh, buckets, so like maybe a trash can, not a trash can, but just like a bucket, even though I just drew a trash can. But within this segment, call this the newsletter segment, all right, I'm going to put in all of the forms, all of the landing pages, all the forms and all the landing pages of people that I want to get this newsletter. And then I'll also put in any tag that I've imported. Okay, maybe it's from MailChimp or something. Or even people who have come in through some other indirect method. Uh, like I said, import, or maybe they purchased a product from me. They purchased the product, but I still wanna know these are the people who uh, are gonna get my newsletter from me. So. These are all people through these forms, landing pages, or tags. I can combine all of these dynamically into a segment. And so now when I go to send my newsletter broadcast, all I need to do is select this segment. Okay. 
That's all I need to do. It automatically ups, updates when people come through. And I can do this for all kinds of different segments. It could be based on date of subscription. I could also do it, uh, I also like creating one for uh, customers. So people who have purchased things from me, those could be tags or forms depending on the integration. So I hope that you can see how some of these, some of these redundant rules can be eliminated because like I said, if you are adding a form to a tag just for the purpose of sending them a newsletter based on an old uh, imported tag of subscribers, then it's much better to use the segment feature inside of ConvertKit. So I hope this makes a little more sense and more fully explains the difference between forms, segments, and tags, how they're different, how they're similar, and how they can be most powerful for you. Thanks.